Shalom, shalom. All right, all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles of GMS. Salutations to the Akim out there, the Akwaf. All right, men, women, and children in the house of David. All right, um, also special salutations to the Akim of the shepherd of Arayakin. All right, so getting straight to it. All right, the Lord through the Spirit is giving us correction to actually move and to grow. And let's start off, I'm going to get straight to it. Let's get the book of Proverbs, chapter 9, verse 8. It says, reprove not a scorner, lest he hate thee. All right, so when you go into the word reprove, all right, it really goes into, uh, it really goes into the word of convincing, all right, or deciding or judging, you know, you know, you're showing them what's the right way. Okay, when so when you're showing somebody the, the right way, that's that's called being reproved. You know, in which we all need to be shown the right way. Why? Because we were shown the wrong way. All right, we're coming out of a conditioning of the wrong way. You know, for you know generation, not just in our lifetime, but for generations, for generations. So we're being shown the right way. Okay, that's why the Lord. Um, we we're known as uh he's known as a shepherd, all right, because the sheep follows the shepherd, all right, and he's guiding us through the right way. And the Lord used men around us through the spirit, okay, all right, to tap into this, all right, and they show us the right way. All right, but it says, um, again, going back to Proverbs, it says, Reprove not a scorn unless he hate thee. Now a scorn is someone who's mocking. What are they gonna mock? Like basically, like how you gonna tell me that's that's the right way? You know, you know, they're going to mock you. They're going to say, well, you ain't got this going on. You ain't got that going on. You know, uh, that's a hey, that, that that's what a, um, a scorner would do. You know, it also say um, scorner to boast. OK, or to ride, to deride. All right. So <clears throat> to talk arrogantly. All right. So. <clears throat> Someone who's uh, boasting, constantly boasting, or someone who's uh, um, talking uh, arrogantly a lot of times, or say also uh, also to be inflated, all right? <laughs> it says to be inflated, which is being puffed up, show oneself of, as a mocker, you know? There, it says that person is going to hate you, all right? So following the ways of the Most High, all right, or giving off this, this showing people the right way, you're gonna people are gonna think they already have the way. All right, they're gonna think they already have the way, and that's where they'll hate you because basically it's like you slowing me up. You know, how you gonna show me something? You know? All right, and that we do, that's something you do, that's something that happens with our own people. Okay? With our own people. You know, and this is then again, and that's cardinal because. These are things that's coming down from the spirit of the Lord. It's not that an actual individual is showing you the right way. You know, it's the spirit that's on that individual that's being used as a tool to show you the right way. All right. Those individuals who you see prophesying, you know, those individuals who's uh, constantly out there um, reading, getting in these scriptures that's pointing you in the direction of what's the, the things that come. All right. They're showing you what's the right way to go. Okay. And, you know, right, what better time? Everything's falling apart here. So, <clears throat> uh, continuing on, it says, rebuke a wise man and he will love thee. All right? So, somebody that's a wise man, that means that wisdom was already in him. All right? He just sometimes need to be tapped every now and then. Okay? But he know, you know, through the spirit, you know, the he knows that this is, because you got to have the, the discernment to know that, that no, nah, that, that what's being said is right. You know, you got to have the discernment to, the, the, and only the most high, like Yahweh Shah said, hey, Peter, only flesh and blood can reveal it to you. Nobody, no, no man can force you to get this. It's either the Lord or use that man, but if it's in you, it's in you. If it ain't, it ain't. You know, so a wise man, he's going to love you. And what's love? Love is, it, it, it's not that he's going to, um, you know, uh, 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 it, it, that that way of love is going to be shown by what? What's how you love the Father? You, you say, if you love me, you follow my commandments. It's simple as that. 
you know? All right, and remember, it's not that it's coming down through that individual personally, it's coming down through the, through the spirit, all right? Because the most high is, has a form of, this is a system of correction. And when you're getting re re reproved or corrected, that's, that's medicine, all right? When, a, when, 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 when your body is sick, okay, it needs to be corrected. There's an imbalance. That's why your immune system starts fighting. You know, there's an imbalance going on. There's a foreign subject, so there's more T cells, so it has to balance itself out. You know, it has to it has to correct itself. All right. So this medicine, you know, this is this is medicine to 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 uh, level you, man. All right, because we in the world, there's a lot of different ways. You know, there's a lot of different ways. There's a lot of different information, and you know, there's a lot of different fleshly talks. You know, and it rub off on them and jump on you and jump on this person and bounce around. And that, that's the way it goes. And, you know, you will lose, you know, uh, 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 um, you just need to be corrected. You're, you're going straight away on that path. You know, you, you're a sheep. You know, you end up going and that. And that's where you get the correction, man. Okay. So it says verse verse um, um 10, verse 9, Salakia. Give instruction, okay, give instruction to a wise man. Right, and it says, and he will yet he will be yet wiser. Why is that? Because now he got it, he's got it through experience, and then he's hearing it from you as well. All right, but you being corrected, and he got the experience that so now he knows, and now he can teach and do the same thing. Now he can see and point it out, you know. It says, um. Teach a just man, and he will increase in learning. All right, and through the spirit, that's what the Most High wants to do. He's actually trying to raise up a whole nation right now. You know, he's trying to. He's the Most High, not trying to. The Most High is. It is already determined that he's going to raise up a nation, a kingdom of priests, a nation of a kingdom of priests, man. Okay, so that's what the Lord's words is actually doing. All right, the words itself is actually the correction itself. Is getting us able to be able to uh to be able to um to lead and do what's right. All right, so it says um he will yet be wiser. Teach a just man, and he will increase. He will increase in learning. So when you teach him, he he only going to increase. All right. It says verse ten: the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. All right, and the main point of that is you're going to understand. You know, because this is a thing where people do things just because you say it, and they don't they don't understand it, so it, they don't know. It, 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 you know, they just don't understand it, so it, it'll be robotically. You know, you gotta it, that 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 understanding is very important. You know, it, it's key to know. Okay, this applies to that. Oh, I understand this that for that situation, and that's what the Most High is uh, giving us. You know, you, you that understanding. Through his reproof, you understand why not to eat pork. You understand why not to do this. You understand why why, why these different things. Okay, so you, so it, it it you know that understanding is um it may it, it pretty much solidifies it, man. It makes it more uh it, it solidifies it. You know, I want to get another scripture, okay. And um this is gonna be Proverbs three and eleven. It says, my son, despise not the chastening of the Lord, right? You can't look down on the chastening, the correction, all right? The, if the correction is going to make you increase your learning, if the correction is um, going to make you a better person, then you can't look down on it, all right? Because the correction, yeah, it comes with chastening. When you go into the word chastening, all right, um, it's a discipline, Correction. So you can't, you know, despise the correction. Damn, man. Why I got to hear that again and again? You can't despise it because it's only going to make you better. All right? And through the spirit, all right, the men, the, those who, that's, that's part of the elect, okay, who remains to be seen, they're going to follow through with the correction. Okay? They're going to understand that this is a betterment for them, you know, through the spirit. Okay? So it says, don't despise it, meaning don't look down upon the correction because it's only going to make you better. I mean, the Most High created all of this and he wants us to rule over it. And he wants us to rule over it, right? The correct way. 
So he's only going to correct you just so you can stay, you know, keep keep it going the right way, <laughs> you know, so to speak. You know, so he got to he got to step in and show you the right way. He got to step in and uh, um, put that spirit of correction out there. And that's what's going out. That's what's going out throughout the earth constantly. That spirit of correction, man. All right. It says, uh, verse 12, for whom the Lord loveth, he corrected. So that's love, too. All right. That's love. The most high is openly rebuking us. It said open rebuke is better than secret love. The most high is openly rebuking us. This is why you see we're in a state we're in. This is why our, our nation is on timeout. You so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, we on timeout. You know, we ain't got nothing going on. Okay? And that's because the most high is what? He's, he's, he's humbling our, our nation. All right? He's keeping us at a lower state. Okay? And, and that's just so we could get it together. You know, that's so we could look around and, and see, you know, that, yo, we need these things corrected. You know, that's why this truth is important. And that's why the uh, the essence of um, what we what we uh, communicate in in its truth is, is very important. You know, that's why I say uh, let your communication pretty much be in this gospel, okay? Because it needs to be heard. You got to re re repetitively put that out. It's so much stuff that goes on in the internet, the TVs that are repetitively trying to take you off course. It's a battle, and that you have to acknowledge that battle. All right. It's not. It's, it is a battle. You can't fake it. You can't pretend anything that's out in the world is trying to take you off the course. So when a, when it, when it, when a conversation is being within the, these scriptures and that, you know, that is to put you back on that proper course is needed. It's needed. All right. It, uh, continuing on, it says, for whom the Lord loveth, he corrected. All right. And the most I love uh, the nation of Israel. So that's why, you know, we're constantly being corrected. We're constantly being uh, rebuked. Okay, the prophets is constantly being out there. Why do you think the more and more videos is going out there? Don't you? It, that got to be the spirit. If more and more videos is being uploaded, there's more, 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 the most high really wants to correct you before he comes down and have to really bring the, 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 the whooping. Okay? But um, he said, whom he loved if he corrected, even as a father, even as a father, the son in whom he delighteth. All right, so you know, Listen, your father ain't going to just let you be a piece of shit. What he going to do? He going to push you, you know, and he going to get on you, you know, and that's so you could be better. You know, that's not for you to be better for, um, you know, that's, that's for you to be better. All right. For you to be better, for you to carry it on, for you to do the, do the right thing. All right. Not to be uh, um, in his eyes, you know, or, or, or so-called uh, just pleasing him just so he, he could see it. But it's for you to take in sincerely. You know, and know that, you know what? This is for me. This is what I need to do. You know, this is this is what I need to apply. You know, and there's certain things that you gotta work on more, you know, when you get in that when it, when the spirit of correction. There's certain things you, you can't work on at the moment, there's certain things you, you gotta focus on through the spirit, you know? Because that right there is what's gonna keep you um that right there is that's that's your necessity for growth. Okay. That's your necessity for growth. All right. It says, um, even as a even as a father whom he delighteth. Right? And it says, verse 13, happy is the man that findeth wisdom and the man that getteth understanding. Why is that again? Okay, you're gonna be joyful when you get when you find wisdom. You're gonna be joyful to hear the, the reproof. You go, hey, you're gonna say through water, through the spirit. You know it's coming down from the most high, but you need that channel. Okay, you need that in a in a in, you know that spirit to be channeled. You need to you know you need the the, uh, the flesh is constantly trying to go off. The flesh is constantly trying uh, not trying. The flesh is constantly going off from vain thoughts. All right, vain conversations, vain movements, and that that's a reflection from from um what you being immersed around, which is the world. Okay, so that correction. Is what comes down through the spirit. And that's why it's good to speak and talk in the spirit, you know? Because those worldly conversations got to get put out. You know? They got to get put out. You know? It says, um, for the merchandise of it is better than merchandise of silver and the gain thereof than fine gold. So, the correction and moving right is better than focusing on silver and focusing on the gain of fine gold. Okay, correction is better 
They're focusing on the merchandise of silver and the gain thereof of fine gold. We are in a state where we need to be corrected. We are in a state where we have been doing wrong for our past years. You know, I've been in this truth for probably going on six years. You know, and that's those are those are baby steps walks. All prior to that, that's just straight in the flesh. So this this is uh this is pretty much rehab rehabilitation. You know, changing the conversation, watching the things that come. You know. You know, these these are things that has to, that 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 are being worked on the flesh, and that has to be the focus. That has to be the focus because you're in rehab. Rehab, when you go to re rehab, when you go to therapy, they're only going to focus on what the main problem is. Yeah, you might have little things here, but what is the main problem? What is the main trauma you just suffered? Disobedience, okay? Not walking uh, correctly in the spirit, okay? According to the law, statutes, and commandments. That's what, that's, that's the main focus, okay? So that's why you see the Israelites out there pushing that. You know, they say, damn, why y'all don't be talking about getting money? Or why y'all talking about that? The main focus that our nation need is to be brought back into um, following the right way. The law, statutes, and commandments. Having a sound mind. Okay? And now it will happen through the chastening of the most high. Okay? Um, Hebrews chapter 12, um, verse 5. It says, and ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children. My son, despise not thou the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked. Okay, so <clears throat> it's going to the word faint. All right. Faint means to loose or to set free or to weaken or relax or to exhaust, you know. So you don't just uh, become uh, feeble or grow weak. You don't grow weak, you grow stronger. Okay, now when you're rebuked, you know, you're going to um, go and, and, and think about the things you did, you know, and you're going to, um, you know, you go through the proper channels of fasting and praying, you know, so you're going to, of course, restrain yourself through the spirit, you know, but that's to get stronger in the spirit. You don't get... Uh, um, you know, a uh, 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 weaker in the spirit, you know, you got to get stronger in the spirit, okay? And you don't get weaker in the spirit and stronger in the flesh. You get stronger in the spirit and weaker in the flesh, all right? So <laughs> it says, um, let's go. Verse 6, for whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. All right, so guess what, man? That's the best thing for you. If you know you're getting rebuked, if you know things is uh, being called out through the spirit, that's a good thing. Now you get to look in the mirror. Now you got things to work on. And those are things you got to uh, you get better with. It's cool. Then just smell like poop all day and not knowing it, you know, and then having things going on and not knowing it, you know, or it's being ignored or put to the side and you waxing worse and worse, you know. But these are things that get that have that get addressed and they get corrected through the spirit. All right. It says verse seven, if ye endure chastening, deal with Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shah, dealeth with you as with sons. All right, so if you endure it, because what does it mean to endure? All right, let's go into the word endure now. It says to remain, to tarry, all right, not recede or flee, to abide. So you abide in it, you hear it, you know what I'm saying? You you listen to uh, the rebuke if it's coming from a brother, you listen to uh, different videos that may rebuke you and through the spirit, and um, so you can. Hey, you say to uh, to endure, to bear bravely, calmly, and calmly ill treatments. You know, so hey, that's that's powerful because you gotta, you know, you can be you gotta be calmly, and that's how you. That's within the most. If you do that, the most high dealeth with you with, with uh, as with sons. You know, because most in the flesh, <clears throat> people in the world, you call them out. They want to go tip the tap. They want to call you out on something. Oh, but you did, you know, but. That's not what the Most High is doing, man. He's building up. He's looking on us, and that's the thing, man. We we don't we gotta you gotta take that light. And the light get put on you, and it and it and it and it sees the improper things, okay? That 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 light therapy, and it sees it sees okay, it's identifying these different problems on you. You can't say no. Nah, I won't put that light over there on 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 on, on this person or that person. 
that that light has to remain okay and you it calmly uh you calmly get uh worked on man you calmly get worked on through the spirit all right through the spirit man okay now it says um verse eight slack it finishing verse seven if ye endure chastening yahweh by shimmy i wish i did it for you as with sons for what son is he whom the father chastened him not <laughs> So if it ain't going down, then now you got to question yourself. If it ain't going down, you got to question yourself. Okay, if you ain't getting corrected through the spirit, you got to you got to you got to question yourself. And that's why it's good to um that's why it's good, you know, to, to uh actually uh be in this truth. All right? Cuz this truth is just not a um something where it's just cool. You know, you get corrected through the spirit, okay? That's only going to happen inside of this. You're not going to get corrections inside of the uh, the damn uh, gangs that's out there. You're not going to get corrected inside of the gangs out there. The only thing I'm going to tell you to do is not not to snitch. All right, but you ain't going to get corrected. You ain't going to be raised up to uh, do the right thing to better yourself. All right, all right, because this is this is this is uh this is what the Most High wants us to do: continual improvement. That's what life is through the Spirit: continual improvement. Whether you come back lifetime after lifetime or, you know, just during that, you know, within this lifetime, continually improve. You know, Yahweh Shah started out as Adam, went to, went to uh, Isaac, and then, um, um, I still like I skipped Melchizedek, but then, you know, Isaac, you know, and then to come back as, um, um, Salakia, uh, Adam, Melchizedek, Isaac, Solomon, and then Yahweh Shah, you know, continual improvement. Continual improvement, you know? So it says, uh, verse 8, but if, ye be, but if ye be without chastisement, whereof all are partakers, then are ye bastards and not sons. So, and we got a whole nation of bastards, man, you know, who won't get corrected. They won't listen to you give, giving them correction. They don't even want to hear it. And that's why, that's what the Most High said, uh, they, they are bastards. Verse 9, furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh, which corrected us, right? We are, we have fathers, that's how we hear, right? Through a physical father, you know, what they would say, my biological father. It says, and we gave them reverence, right? Yeah, my pops did this for me, he did that for me. Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the father of spirits and live? Right, so the Most High is the, is the Father of Spirits, because He created all spirits. That's why it says that. All right, and the Most High, the Father of Spirits, He actually channeled uh, individuals to be guided got, uh, as a guide over your spirit. You know, according according to this truth. Okay, according to this truth, not for His own proper gain or whatever. According to the doctrine, according to this truth. Okay. Or to say, you know, I'm sunning you out or things like this is going to be according according to the truth. All right. So it says, um, shall we not much more rather be in subjection unto the Father of Spirits and live? Right. And, and guess what? He's guiding you to, to life. What do you think? You say yeah, you found them written in a book of life because they were they were constantly walking the, the, the right way of life. They were on that path, okay, that journey unto life. And they got, you know, they do ahead, they get corrected, they go, they get corrected, you know. But if you just subjected to the Father of Spirits, okay, he's guiding you to life, not into death. All right? Verse 10, for they verily for a few days chasten us after their own pleasure, but for he, but he for our profit, right? So you got. Individual, you know that the, the fathers who would, who would chasten you, you know, for their own pleasure. Yeah, look at you know, yeah, see how I raise them up. See, look at this, look at that. You know, look what I did, look what I did with them, right? After their own pleasure. But the Lord do it for your own profit. All right, that we might be partakers of His holiness. So that's what the Lord is doing it for, man. Verse eleven. Now, no chastening. Now, no chastening for the present. Seem. Seems to be joyous, right? Because <clears throat> you're dealing with the flesh. The flesh is getting rebuked. When I say the flesh, I mean your emotions, all right? Which we all have, all right? 
and it has a defense, you know? It doesn't want to be told or tolerated to do certain things, you know? And that is um, dealing with chastity. It is, a, it is a, you know, just like your body. It doesn't like bitter herbs. It doesn't like medicine, all right? And one, usually when you take something that's too bitter or certain things, what you do, you kind of want to throw it up. You want to regurgitate it. You know, you smell it, like, ugh, you know, your body's like, nah, I don't want that. It's not sweet. It's not, you know, but those are the things that's good and healthy for you. You see? So it says, uh, no, now, no chastening for the present seeming to be joyous, but grievous. Okay. Yeah, that taste is grievous. Again, going into what? Bitter. You know, you take that, you take certain medicines, it, it's bitter, you know? It says, but grievous, nevertheless, afterward, it yieldeth the peaceable fruit of righteousness. But afterwards, what do you do when you take that medicine? You get healthy. Your immune system builds up. Whatever diseases you have are now removed. Whatever ailments you have are now removed. Okay? That's why now, you know, that doesn't mean that, you know, you want to just keep taking that that that, that bitterness, <laughs> you know, all the time. It's, it's when, when applicable. It's when applicable, you know? Well, that, that's that's how the same thing works out with the rebuke, with the chastisement. You know, is when when it applies. You know, when it's when it, you know, boom, that happened. Okay, boom, this is the medicine for it. Boom, you going through this? Well, boom, this is the medicine for that. You know. You know, and this is this is, and then you learn, you learn from that. Okay, you know, then you learn. All right, you know, this I can't move like that. I gotta move like this. Is the right way. Okay. Now it says um. Now, no chastening for the present seems to be joyous, but grievous. Nevertheless, afterwards, it yieldeth the peaceful fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. Right, because what are you going to do? You're going to perform those righteous deeds now. All right? Wherefore, lift up the hands which hang down and the feeble knees. Right, man, you lift, you lift, lift it up, man. This is, you know, you're getting corrected. You're going on a, you 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 getting on the right thing. You, now... It say, hey, it say, wherefore lift up the hands which which hang down in a feeble knee, you know, because he's telling you, he's giving you the insight about. Listen, it's going to feel grievous, but afterwards, it's going to yield peaceable fruit. So, with that being said, you know, get out, don't stay in that low state, because what it's doing is it's bettering you, you know, and that's why these scriptures is good because everybody out there going to get rebuked. Through the spirit, that's that's gonna happen without a doubt. You know why? Because the Most High, if He's dealing with you again as sons, that's what He's gonna do. He did it to Yahushua. All right, ain't nobody more you know walked a better walk than Yahushua. So you're gonna get you're gonna get that. All right, but it said, but it say, uh, wherefore lift up your hand, which hang it down, okay, in the feeble knees, and it says, and make straight paths for your feet. All right, meaning like I right, get on, you know, get on, a, get, you know, like like when you get in the car and you about to set your ways, you know, your destination. Or I like to use ways, I know, <laughs> you know, if you use uh, Google Maps or ways through the Spirit, right? It says, um, well, what you do? You're gonna you're gonna set your course. All right, you're gonna set your course, and you're gonna know, boom, this is the route I'm taking. Go there, doop 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 doop. Okay, and that's how I'm gonna get to this destination. All right, through the spirit. It's saying and make straight paths for your feet. That's what it's saying. You know, outline your the, the paths, a straight path for your feet. Now, no curvy path, a path that's gonna get you straight there. Okay, where's this journey to? This journey is into the kingdom of heaven. Okay, well, who is the kingdom of heaven? The kingdom of heaven is within you. But this is your journey. But the kingdom of heaven is within you. It's within you. It's in these instructions, but it's you. Okay? The kingdom of heaven is, with, is in Israelites. Okay? In their perfection. That's what it is. So this journey is for perfecting you. And when the Most High deem you perfect in his eyes, that is the kingdom being exercised. We are seeing the form of the form of uh, the, you know, the, you know, the, the um, we're seeing the uh, forming of the kingdom, man. Okay, <clears throat> it says, lest that which is lame be turned out of the way, right? But let it rather be healed. See, it says, make, make straight paths for your feet, lest that which is lame be turned out of the way. All right, but let it rather be healed. Okay, you know, through the repute, rebuke, the chastisement. Verse 14, 
follow peace with all men, holiness, without which no man shall see the Lord. So you got to follow peace, you know, follow peace, follow that walk in peace. All right. With all men. Okay. And holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. So if you're not walking in that peace. And that's why it says, have your feet shed with what? The gospel of peace. All right. Because this, this gospel right here, this word right here, it allows you to be in peace when you know what's going on. It allows you to be in peace. You know why these situations are. You know, you're not forcing it. You're not trying to shape from it. You want, you have a, you are in peace that the most high is going to deliver you out of the situation. You have understanding of why you're in this situation. Okay. Those who don't have the understanding, they're going to run around and wig out and burn themselves out. And they're going to actually make, make the wrong decisions out there, you know, but this gospel, okay. Let's us be at peace to understand. That's why I say wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability at our times. Okay. So it says, um, follow peace with all men and holiness without uh, which no man shall see the Lord. Verse 15, looking diligently, lest any man fail of the grace of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. What does that mean? Okay, now you're looking diligently, okay, for the signs and the times of the end, but also you're looking diligently. It says you look at diligent to look upon, to inspect, to oversee, to look after. What are you looking after? You're looking after to see if you're in the proper spirit. You're looking after to see if other brothers are in the proper spirit. Okay? To have care of. Okay? Looking diligently, lest any man fail of the grace of Yahweh. So, you know, that's our job. That's other men's job to see that brothers is in the right spirit. Okay? And in the right spirit of this truth. And not in the spirit of the world, but in the spirit of, the, of this truth. You know, because the spirit of the world is being cardinal. All right. Can't be cardinal. OK, because that's not going to get you the grace of the most high. Being spiritual is going to get you grace of the most high. OK. And it says, lest any man fail of the grace of the Lord, lest any root of bitterness spring up trouble you and thereby many be defiled. OK. And that bitterness, that root of bitterness will spring up and that's what happened with when it goes into Esau, right? Verse 16, lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau who for one more so meat sold his birthright. Okay, so that root of bitterness. You know, where does the root of uh, bitterness come from? Oh man, you know, that could come from different things in the flesh when you're operating in the flesh. Oh man, I'm not, uh, you may say, uh, man, damn, you know what? Why, uh, Shoot, wow, wow, damn, I don't feel like being the, uh, the, 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 the one at the bottom. I don't feel like being, you know, you don't want to be bitter. Uh, and, you know, one way can be better where you uh, to focus on your talent, you know, in regards to other brothers' talents or what somebody else is able to do through the spirit. Okay. Or um, yeah, another bitterness could be the fact that you're looking at not even just another brother in the truth, the world. You know, you could be bitter about the world. Oh, man, you know, why, we, why I ain't got, you know, and you despising all the wisdom that you got. You despising all the little wisdom the most I giving you. You despising all of this heavenly glory, you know, all of these reproofs because you bitter about a living a living situation. Or you bitter because, you know, it ain't working out for you in the flesh. You know? You you know, it's, it, you gotta look diligent because remember we in this flesh, so there's different things that brothers gonna go through bitterness about. And it usually it's always gonna be dealing with the world. Because that's what's constantly forecasted, okay? Usually it's going to, more than likely, it's always going to be different things in the world, you know, dealing with stuff in the world. You know, hey, man, <clears throat> those are things that where it says looking diligently, okay? You got to see that. And you fast, okay, you know, I see that, uh, you know, these things is, uh, uh, um, the, 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 the flesh is, uh, um, I'm battling the flesh right now, you know, and that's where you, that's where you pray, you know, you fast, you know, through the spirit. But those are things that you're looking diligently in inside of yourself and then also on other men. OK, you know, you can't be um, <clears throat> coming around bitter or angry, you know, about a uh, about, um, you know, uh, how the world's looking and how you are you looking? OK, because the world is going to be destroyed. 
you know, but with the, the Lord gave you the knowledge of life. So you got a chance, you got a chance to uh, get out of here and, and enter into the kingdom. This world ain't enter into the kingdom. So it ain't nothing to be, um, to look bitter about. That's what Esau did. He, he said, man, that morsel of meat is better than my birthright. You know, he, he said, yo, this, what the hell does birthright got to do with me? If I can't eat right, if I can't, um, if I can't eat right now, you know, basically, you know, if I can't live it up right now, if I can't have this, I can't have that. You know, man, well, you know, screw it. You know, if I can't have this, then what's the sense of this truth? Or what's the sense of, you know, doing what we doing? You know, that, that those, those are different forms of bitterness. So it's springing up inside of you, inside your mind. You know, because those seeds get planted in your mind. They get planted in your mind, you know, throughout, uh, they get planted in your mind because throughout the world. All right? And when we say, when we talk about the world, we're talking about the actual carnality aspect of the world, you know, of, of what is being pushed on the forefront, you know, uh, lusting after a life. That's what we mean by the world. Not that the whole planet is a bad planet, you know, it's when you're lusting after things, you know, when you consider where uh, uh, other people's lifestyles are, you know, and you, 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 you comparing everything, okay? It says, um, and thereby many be defiled. Okay, yeah, you're defiled because guess what, man? You allow that to enter inside your mind, all right? Which you said you were holy because those are the things you were holy because this made you whole, all right? This made you feel good. But now you got some outside source, and that's how the most I get jealous of uh, making you feel a certain way, you know, because you don't have that. And then you despising this, chasing, look, chasing after that, okay? And that's how you get defiled. Verse 16, lest there be any fornicator or profane person, again, as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. Okay, so what does that mean? What, 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 you know, you know, in the essence, what does that mean? That means that what? He said that he'd rather eat, he'd rather enjoy the pleasure of the world, he'd rather enjoy that moment than to hold on to the birthright. You know? And so when you look that look down in that aspect, okay, it's again despising the truth or despising, you know, um, correction, despising um, watching videos, despising going out in the highways and byways, you know, due to what? Uh, the pleasure of being in a comfortable situation, you know, because that's what it was with Esau. He was in an uncomfortable situation, all right? And he was starving and he just said, man, He's all burnt out, you know, for working. That, that's what Satan do. It gets you all burnt out working and doing this and doing that. And then, you know, you, you, you know, boom, I'm going to face you with the option right now. You know, which one you going to choose? All right. But that's the root of bitterness. So it's start in your mind. You start despising certain things. You start being bitter, man. What the hell that's, you know, man, that ain't going to better me. Man, what, 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 what I need that for? What's, what's all that mean? Man, man, screw that. that, 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 that that's not important. You know, but those things are important because that's what's going, that's your, that's your, that's your salvation. All right. It says verse 17, for ye know that how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. For he found no place of repentance, though he saw it carefully with tears. All right. For ye are not come unto the mount that might be touched, that burn with fire, nor unto blackness. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it, you know? But he was rejected, though he saw it carefully with tears. All right? And why 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 is that? Because you you made the you you despised it. You said this ain't this ain't good enough. You said this ain't worth nothing. But here it is, the most high gave you it, and the same thing done with this truth. You know, correction and different things. These are things that's needed. You know, the prophecies. You know, constantly hearing uh, 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 hearing those things, reading, constantly those building. Those are the things that the Most High has said, you know, he's watching to see, oh, man, you know, you getting tired of that? You know, so he allowed Esau to get that morsel of meat, but then after that, he was rejected. You know, because you made your decision. Nah, you 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 made the decision. I gave I gave you the birthright. I gave you the, the knowledge of the kingdom, you know. But again, that's going back to that scorner. You know, he thinks he, the, the, the scorner ain't going to hear it because they think they got something better. Right? But, um, 
that's pretty much it through the spirit man you know so lord will this is edifying you know about this correction that's definitely needed you know especially again for the for, uh, you know especially brothers in the truth all right and also you know for the for 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 uh, you so-called blacks latinos and native americans okay and those who are scattered abroad you know this correction man is what's going to keep you on the right path that's this is what's going to save your life you know you know is is the best thing for you it's the best thing for you man this is your this is your essential diet <laughs> you know or everything's shutting down and the most i got the correction going out 10 times more it took my everything so he's letting you know that this is what you should stock up on people stocking up on guns people stocking up on this but that correction that word is what needs to be stacked up on that's what should be being heard right now you know and you take it and you hear it and you you know you endure with that because that's going to lead you on to life man you know so with that being said all praises to yahweh by shim yahweh shabbat shimra kakadash double honor to the apostles of gms Salutations to the Akim out there, the Akim and the Shepherd of Berea camp. And with that being said, Kwame Ashala, Kwame Ashala, Kwame Ashala, Shalom.